Mike just won't let him go, though. Nice little guy. Nice guy. Real good. I'm, I'm Want to give it a couple of breaks? Yeah, come on. Get come on. Get over. Come, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. No, 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 don't pull too much. Go ahead, let her crank. Let her get into position. You can move out, Ali. Okay. All right, up, boss. Stay with her. Don't let her get off the boat, okay? <laughs> We're not getting off the boat till later. Kevin. Yes, sir. Get her front. Go ahead, that's it. That's it, baby. And then Final. if the line goes too much to work... over by an inch which normally we'll throw back but so early in the season and you know people on the boat get so excited I'm not gonna watch a fish go back in if it was legal and I don't know that I'm catching another one that day um, so again we're trying to make everybody happy including myself I, I ate that fish it was delicious but um, you know we're usually hoping for something a little bit bigger than that but I'm a rookie I'm happy when I catch anything I think it's fantastic that I'm out there uh, I think it's fantastic that my friends are out there with me. We don't know a lot, but we're out there swinging and doing our best, and uh, we're coming home with fish. It's a lot of fun, uh, and you see smiles everywhere, and that's really the point. We're seeing nice, uh, nice days out there, and we're catching nice fish. So hopefully in the videos to come, I'll get better at this, and I'll be holding up things that are hard to hold up, you know, in the 100, 200 pound class. I really hope to get on fish like that soon. But uh, this year was a bunch of small guys, and, and it was a lot of fun anyway. I could care less how big they are. Awesome, with the sunset. We're going to cut into fish number two now, real quick. We didn't have the camera on, realized it at the end of the fight, uh, turned it on, and then immediately thereafter lost the fish. And I did because I saw him rolling around in the wash and I realized I should be pulling these fish up along the side of the boat so that they're not rolling around in my wash because that was a big reason why that fish came off. I 
and that's a great crew right there. I'm staring at a hook and John says, don't worry, get it back in the water. And then two seconds later, I got another crew member saying, don't worry, we're gonna get another one. Next thing you know, the thing's in the water and they were right. We had another fish on in another 10 minutes. Spinach, I need my spinach. Oh. Move that one rig up. Notice John is Irish. Back up on the rocket launcher, please. What? Rocket launcher, please. Thank you. I never knew it until I watched the videos that we take on our boats, but all of my friends reach out, make sure I don't go overboard. So thanks a bunch, guys. I do appreciate that after seeing the videos, because I never knew you guys were all just reaching out, ready to grab me like that. So a little more reassurance. Thanks, guys. And although this is, you know, the boring part of it, I leave it in just so that, you know, it's a, a real take on getting the spread back out. Shit's moving, things are rocking, things are tangling themselves. So it's not just get them out and go and blah, blah, blah. It's, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun getting this stuff out.